Alright guys, so what's up? Man here with Drive Tech and I just got back from the Apple store this morning and it is the launch day for the iPhone 11 series in Malaysia and actually I pre-ordered my 11 Pro Max last week and I went over to collect it today. Alright, so without further ado, let's get this video started. Okay guys, so I'm just not going to waste too much time because I bet you've seen tons of unboxing videos on YouTube. So I'm just going to fly through the contents of the box. So I haven't opened it myself, so I'll be opening it together with you guys. So you can see a nice embossed iPhone 11 Pro on the box. You can see iPhone on the side. On the back you can see I bought the 256GB variant in space grey. Okay, so let's open the tab right here. Nice and satisfying. Okay, put that to the side. So it's a matte black box, reminiscent of the iPhone 7, which also came in a matte black box as well. Okay, so let's open the cover and see what we get in the box. You can see that there is a small little indentation right here, so it will protect the camera lenses from getting scratched during shipment. Okay, so you can see the back here is a frosted glass, which I am a really big fan of. And the triple lens setup consisting of a telephoto, wide angle, and ultra wide angle. So these are really good cameras. So let's put that to the side. Let's take a look at the contents of the box. So the usual quick start guide, Apple stickers, and whatnot. Okay, so what else do you get in the box? You get lightning earphones, which I don't use. Okay, what's unique about this year's iPhone is that Apple actually included a quick charger in the box. That's something that Apple fans have been requesting for a while now. So now you don't have to buy it separately. It is included in the box. So it is a lightning to USB-C charging cable right here. You can see USB-C on one end and lightning on the other. So if you have an iPad Pro like I do, you can actually use this cable, plug your iPhone into the iPad and use the iPad as a portable charger. I mean, it doesn't really make sense because I mean, you could just bring a power bank, which is much lighter, but if you do have an iPad Pro on hand, you can actually use this cable. Okay, so that's all for the contents of the box. So let's put all back to the side. Let's focus on the start of the show, which is the iPhone 11 Pro in my case. But see right here, stainless steel borders. In fact, it's, the footprint of this phone is exactly the same as the iPhone XS Max. In fact, you can even use the same screen protectors if you do have some with you, you can actually use it for the iPhone 11 Pro Max as well. So the screen protectors are there, but of course the cases are not going to really work out because this phone is slightly thicker and slightly heavier as well. So weight doesn't really matter, but in terms of the dimensions, the thickness, yeah, it's going to matter. And of course this big camera bump right here, you can see, it's a camera bump. You're not going to be able to fit iPhone XS cases. Okay, so I'm really liking the whole build. It's exactly the same. You can see this is actually your mute toggle switch as well as your volume up and down buttons as usual. On the right side, you get the power button, your Siri button as well, and your SIM card tray. On the top, nothing at all. On the bottom, that's where you get your microphone, your, your speaker, as well as your lightning connector. In the front, massive display which is latest display from Apple which is Retina XDR so you can see the notch again right there and the face ID sensors and whatnot okay so that's about wraps our unboxing for the iPhone 11 Pro Max right here so I will be focusing more on cases in the next video so as well as screen protectors because I've got a ton of them Okay, that's all for now. Thanks guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.